thank you so much for always being here if it is your first time please subscribe to my channel my name is rachel i do reviews very honest ones i cook i motivate you to stay active because it is not always about the body today's video is a quick one the reason why i am doing this video is because ordinarily like how the bell peppers are used in this country that is not just my thing because you will find them in fried githeris or in uh, stews and i don't like all of that if it is my githeri i do it like plain kitungu spice up and we are done so there are some of the ways that i have been enjoying my bell peppers and i think that you could just try them and see whether they work for you if not still okay you can also tell me some other things that you do with the bell peppers not the soup thing thank you so much so we are going to be making all those and they are simple very very simple some could even pass for a complete keto or low carb meal so the hohos are very full of vitamins they are low in carbohydrates and they have a lot of antioxidative power so that is something that you need to put into your diet to just grab that vitamin c into your body for your skin for your immune system and the other vitamins that are going to make you a healthier being so let us make our hoho recipes and because there are a lot i am not going to be counting that is why i said in the title uncountable so you count i cook we cool let's do this My bell peppers or hoho, like we call them around here, they are very simple. Green, like you can see, they look so good, of course, and they smell so good. They are very low in calories. One of these could be between 15 and 30 calories, depending on how big it is, um, with zero fat, but with a lot of vitamin C and antioxidants. So they will be very good for your skin, very good for your immune boosting powers. I want to show you how I make these. So we start with the first one. First recipe will be the simplest of it all. It's whereby you get your bell peppers. Remove the middle kind of business there. It is not useful as far as I am concerned. And what you need to do is slice these. Style yako vilunapenda. Recipe number one, it's ready. I know you're like, what? Yes, they taste so good. And what you need to do is put these in a simple whatever that you have and drizzle some vinegar. You can do apple cider vinegar. You can do balsamic. The good thing being if there is any like warm situation on the skin, yeah then that will be dealt with and yeah it will even give it a, a simple yeah yummy kick so recipe one we are done here the next recipe is my very best one and that is just to make a little salad out of all these remember our cups come with as clean visually they are cut just the way you like them so we are going to be use some soy you can also do some salt but i promise you that soy will just be a game changer for this we will be using balsamic vinegar if you have um, apple cider vinegar you can as well use it takwa sour and then we will be having this um yeah allegro what what is it called olive oil <laughs> remember your salads especially the absorption of vitamins in the vegetables need a little kick of mafuta so always include and the best of the best of course is olive oil so we add some and this you're like sugar yes brown sugar so not a lot okay like that after that i like using this spaghetti thing because it hooks the cups come in a nice way when you want to coroga all this so mix if 
you have a situation with the sugar please do honey it will taste just as good okay so let us transfer our salad cute salad over here when you are doing a salad is it is very important that you think about the full nutritional thingy so we have our vegetable part the oil part so mind about the protein part and my go-to protein fix for this is usually this actually it's a, a complete meal this is a very practical meal for me especially skuna weight train for that muscle boost so yeah with some cashew nuts and this is my salad you can play with it use whatever that you think will work for you Finally, this is our salad looking so cute I can assure you it is very very sweet so we go to the next recipe this is the third or fourth depending on where you started the counting anything so this one we're going to slice them you can cube them so let us do this we have our pan there and our sliced or cubed capsicum so to ziweke for pan the next thing is to put any pepper of your choice i'll be using cayenne pepper you can do black pepper comes way pretty you can do white pepper but any pepper that you want apart from writing pepper mustard is the next thing that we are adding simple mustard then we do garlic powder there you go then we do soy the next thing that we are going to do is put this allegro mafuta with garlic or another olive oil or another mafuta that you use to cook that is like enough cook this for like a minute or two the whole essence of putting it kwa jiko ni to make sure that you incorporate the flavors vizuri after a minute this is what we are having look at this the taste of goodness put this into a plate or bowl or you can as well enjoy a tiki okotan like nobody is going to take you to prison i think that is the worst right maybe next we do some kidogo barbecue sauce i should say whatever that you add to your healthy stuff will determine whether you mess it up or it continues to be healthy so the dressing that you're going to use really be mindful so we do this yeah that's it you can oh um you can mix it or you can just enjoy your meal like it is for appetit let us go to the recipe number 600 the next recipe is stuff and bake these things and what you need is your capsicum uh, your spices of choice some salt some salt here and if you like cheese yeah grab some cheese so we slice these and i grate some cheese and then i'll be back to show you what you're doing with this that is what we got i usually remove the inner squishy thing so this is our cheese so like i said all you need to do is stuff these with anything your viazi your gideri your ugali your like 
so usually i make like uh, like what like samosa filling stuff kind of but today i was making some meatballs and the remaining meat with uh what with breadcrumbs and everything it tastes so good by the way this is a very good option kama huna kitu ideally i could stuff this with so what we do is chota these stuff here and then uh what uh put some cheese on top you can also do some spices if you want but this is this is flavored it is very spicy so i can do kidogo salt on the top yeah but really i don't think i'll do that maybe i will do kidogo flavoring quite easy and then we stuff them So the next thing is to put them kwa yeah kwa pan vile utazibek all we need to do is get the cheese melted and all that because you don't want to overcook the vegetable part remember our stuffing can it can I call it that way it's already cooked so you don't need to overcook all this what 12 minutes later this is what we have smelling so so good and tasting even better you have been counting i have been cooking so i don't know whether we are at 1000 or i'm kidding so we are doing the last in this video and we have our capsicum nimetoa vitu za ndani kama kawaida then we have our cola bacon you can do sausages if you like them i am actually not so big when it comes to such this is what we have at the moment our bacon and our capsicum you will also need some yeah place ya kupikia and the spices that you need if you are fancy enough you can mix the two then flavor them pamoja and then weka hapa that calls for an extra that is dish to be cleaned so that is not me we will do it here put them there and the other stuff there i'll do black pepper kidogo some garlic powder kidogo and then some soy i will not use salt remember the bacon has salt kind of situation So this is how it looks like smelling so good. The next thing you're supposed to do is to bake these until um vile unapenda your bacon cooked if it is very crispy or a little bit crispy cheza kama wewe so put this into the oven at 400. Let's do this. Friends, this is what I got. If you want your bacon to be more crispy, I think the best idea is to um put it into the oven first before you add in the capsicum so that you don't overcook the capsicum. 
it solves some That is my serving. Friends, we are done. Our recipes. How many did you count? Let me know in the comment section. Which was your favorite? Again, let me know. Remember, in the comment section is where we do that. So please subscribe to my channel. My name is Rachel. In case you forgot, remember it is Mondays. Wednesdays and Saturdays, 1 p.m. Nairobi time. I'll see you then. Go ahead.